Here's a day in the life in my last year of sixth form, also the second year of sixth form, also year 13. Anyways though, lots of stuff going on today, so you want to stick around until the end. Today is a Thursday and here is my timetable on the screen for you if you want to just check out what my day is like for today. So today I start at 10.40, that's my first lesson, but I decide to come in earlier because this is something I've been keeping up since the start of the year this year. In the morning before school, I've been trying to read a bit and just overall have a plan of the day. It's not too much stuff, but on a good day I usually get to read a bit and do a bit of planning before I actually leave for school. And then I get the bus with Kailas over here and we've been both trying to turn up early every single day from now on because we get to get work in in the morning before our lessons even begin. Thing is though, he has a lesson before me so for about the next hour I'm going to be by myself mostly and I'm just going to be catching up on some maths as you can see. Currently we're doing a bit of projectiles on the mechanics side which if you've done it's not too bad but can be a bit weird especially with some of the questions so I decided to just go over a few of them in my free time. This is another thing that I've been keeping up with this year as well. I've been trying to do some review questions every single time I've had a maths lesson specifically just so I know how to do that topic and that I'm confident with it before I move on to the next one. Okay first lesson today which is chemistry and I can't lie all the information was just flying over my head at this point. So today we were doing acids and bases and I tried to stay focused but by the end I just stopped paying attention and I don't even know what is going on in our chemistry classes anymore at this point. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> I will go over this stuff but I just have so much going on that it's just at the back of my mind right now and I've got other exams that I'd prioritize over chemistry right now so chemistry right now is at the bottom because I've already done an exam on it and this entire year 13 thing is just prioritizing different things and having trade-offs wherever possible. But yeah, biology was next and it got cancelled so instead I had another free and I spent this free designing a poster for our medicine society. I was making a poster because we had a society's fair during lunch which was where all the different societies at our school would come together and just basically advertise their society and you know what, it was really fun but before that I had form time for about 20 minutes. Hello. No, that's, what do you mean? That's one it's day it's form time at the moment. <laughs> Oh yeah. And I have a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get to that. Hello guys, hello. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. But wait, I think the screen's a little dirty. There we go, that's fine. Then I had lunch and this is when we went to the society's fair, checked it out. I was bored, okay? I had nothing else to do. What are you filming? <laughs> also, I think it'd be better if it is um if it's landscape. Okay, fine. Where's Christian Fox? It's, it's still in portrait, but. What are you doing? It's, look, it's still in portrait. Your mothers are. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm gonna play part. But, anyways, after that, I have maths and. It made absolutely no sense again. It wasn't the projectile stuff. This was stuff on trig and identities, specifically, I think addition formulae or something. And if you know how to do it, good for you because I don't, and we just didn't get taught it properly. And so it was the very first lesson on it as well. So that's probably why. So I definitely need to go over that stuff, but it was just explained so badly that the entire lesson went straight over my head. And to be honest, at this point, it's becoming a recurring thing over year 13 where I just don't know what's going on and I come home having to go over everything and trying to understand it all because there's just so much new stuff that it's just really, really confusing at times. And after maths, I was done at about like 2.35. I had no more lessons, so I could just go straight home. Thing is though, instead of doing work when I got home, which is what I should have done, I just messed around for the next couple of hours. But until like 6 p.m., I didn't do anything. But after 6 p.m., I actually sat down. I had to motivate myself somehow to actually get a bit of work done. I think this could work. Never done this before, but let's see. I just got on with my work with the Kinder Chocolates on the side, not sponsored, and somehow I actually got quite a bit of stuff done. It really motivated me to get all the work done that I could, and I ended up eating all the chocolates because, you know, I got all the work done somehow.
And yeah, for the rest of that evening, I was just getting those tasks done. And by the end, I was fully complete and I had nothing else to do, which was great. However, what I didn't show today that I did also do was stuff on my personal statement, my application, my university choices. I have finally submitted my actual UCAS application, which if you don't know what that is, it's the application that gets sent to your universities, which they'll use to decide whether or not to accept you and give you an offer. And this is also how they'll dedicate interviews to people and all the other stuff that goes into the application as well. And before you ask me what universities I'm applying to, I've decided I'm going to keep it to myself until I get my offer and then I'll let you guys know but if anyone else is in the same position as me right now in the same year as me or just has the same application process as well best of luck because this is such a difficult time right now I don't think I've had such a difficult year ever in school which I mean makes sense it's my last year but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I know you should be doing something more productive right now than watching my videos so I suggest you get off and get back to whatever revision that you need to do and I'll see you guys next week bye for now